Step 1. Click on a date on the calendar and follow the prompt. This can be done in all of our calendar views. You can also schedule a lesson to your calendar by clicking on Calendar, Add Lesson. Step 2. Select a student. You can select a single student, multiple students, or no students if you'd like to add them later on. Step is to set a lesson title. If you select a single student, the student's name will be set as the title by default, but you can also change this to anything you'd like. Step 4 Description. You can add a description for the lesson by clicking on the Add Description checkbox. Please note this is optional. On the fifth step, select a service and location. These are required fields. Step 6. Available Spaces. You can set a limit on the number of students for a lesson by entering the number or leave a blank if no limit applies. Step 7. Lesson Duration. Select the start and end date and times for the lesson. Step 8 is the Repeat Headings. You can schedule a repeating series of lessons by checking the repeat box. A window will then open up with the repeat settings that can be selected. Lessons can repeat daily, weekly, or monthly. They can be set to end on a specific date or after a specific number of lessons, and you can view the selected repeat settings next to the checkbox when you're finished. Step 9. Checking for Conflicts. You can click the Check Conflicts button to find any availability appointment or location conflicts for the scheduled lesson. Step 10 is to schedule the lessons. Click the Submit button to finish and schedule the lessons. Easily move lessons to a new time slot by simply clicking and dragging them into the calendar. If you'd like to edit a lesson, click on it on the calendar and select the edit option in the pop-up menu.